So today on the table, I've got a relatively simple job to do today. This particular one is a Samsung Galaxy S7 that has a very tinny slash poor quality EP speaker. So what I'm doing right now is I've had it on the heat pad at 75 degrees Celsius for around about five minutes. So it's very hot to the touch. And I'm using a thin metal pry tool dipped in isopropyl alcohol to remove the back cover of this S7. So what other symptoms were going on with this phone? Essentially whenever a phone call was taking place you just hear constant static through the earpiece speaker but also the user had to turn their phone down to the lowest volume to barely be able to hear otherwise it just distorted the audio too much. This particular person was a farmer and he was led to believe that it was just essentially um, metal shavings that have worked its way into the phone just through working in the shed and whatnot and just dirt and dust. So hopefully once I get into this phone I'll be able to show you that. The experience tells me it's highly likely that that's what's been going on. So once you're into the phone itself with a bit of care you'll need a small Phillips head screwdriver and we should be able to remove the top plastic back covers off this which is then, then will reveal the mainboard and the earpiece speaker itself. There we go, so now with all those screws removed, I only need to remove the top half, or the out of the three pieces, just the top two. I'll pop those screws out of there so we don't lose them. There we go. So back to the phone itself. Actually, I didn't really need to remove that one, but whatever. Disconnect the battery, and then I'm going to disconnect both the connectors at the top here. So I believe one of these is the EP speaker, the one on the left, and the one on the right, I believe, is the, I think it's the ambient light sensor, if I remember correctly. But I will disconnect both of them, just in case I get it wrong. And from here, I've already had a fair bit of heat still getting applied to the phone, so I should just be able to lift it up with the adhesive being in a semi-tacky state. And there we go. That's one earpiece speaker. Whoop, nearly. Bingo. Got it. So one earpiece speaker, and as you can see there, there's quite a lot of metal shavings that have been attached to it. There we go, back in focus. So this will be getting just brushed with a toothbrush, and I will also use a little bit of isopropyl alcohol from the inside of the phone and outside of the phone's speaker grill to give that a clean up from there. But typically if you ex experience any audio issues with an earpiece speaker or any speakers for that instance, especially small ones like this, they're more prone to failure due to just dirt, dust, metal shavings, sand, any kind of substance that can get into there. So typically you could try and wash it from the outside of the phone, but all that's going to do is just move it around inside the phone. And since it's a relatively sealed unit, you're not really going to be able to clear that speaker. 
And the reason why I clean the grill as well is because typically if you look through a speaker grill and you can't really see much light come through there, that's going to stop sound traveling out of it. So as long as the speaker itself is clean and the mesh grill is clean, you should be getting decent audio or at least factory quality audio from your device. So pretty much here, I'm going to let the video play out. This is purely the reassembly process of this phone. But this is typically the procedure that you would follow if you had to fix an audio issue with a speaker on most mobile phones. Or at least this is what, uh, the level that I'd be getting to to find out if that's the issue. So anyway, I'll catch you later and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.